Netflix watch. This is LP. Now, today I'm going to be talking about one of C4 relatives who was killed right in front time yard in Spanish town. Things are looking spooky. The people that will carry out the killing are some man who just bust the case. Yes, some other man named who just bust the case, the same clansman case that C4 was a witness. Two other man them that were on that case were found not guilty, just killed C4's cousin. I mean, you just can't make this up. But may I give you some backstory before I go into what happened recently to C4's cousin. So, you remember, in May, end of May, four people who were on the trial were found not guilty one time. They were Damien Elliston, Rivaldo Hilton, Roshan Williams, and Owen Armsby. Damien, he was the first one to get locked up again. Remember, I already talked about him. When he bust the case, he do a big interview with the papers and talk about how, you know, he might have changed him life. Police lock him up back immediately. As he touched back the road, he started shooting. Now, Rivaldo Hilton, aka Q, and Roshan Williams, a kind of stinger, them two there just kill C Force cousin. The only one that is actually laying low so far is Owen Armsby. Q and Russian are no bed bugs officially. They always were because them kind of fall on the hazy link, but of course they were incarcerated. So now that them touch back the road, they blink up back with Muta, Richie, and the man there. So Richie was also on this killing operation. So Richie, Q, Stinger, enough of them go kill the youth. So if for the first time you hear me talk about bed bugs, this is a faction within the clansman gang. Based on how the trial is set up now where black man is the leader and then all of the rest of the people in my 87s, that's not how clansman currently is. Since them get locked up, the gang has been split up even further. So now Hezzy and Smokey are for them on a gang. Right? So them now really take the talk from black man again. Hezzy and Smokey are them are the leaders of the bed box, but Hezzy and Smokey still up on trial. Q and Stinger were also on the trial, but they bust the case and touch back a road. So you're going to have Termite, which is Fiend Faction, separate from Black Man now. You have Hezzy, with Fiend Faction, separate from Black Man now. So, when you say the gang has splintered down even further while being on trial, Termite they bust the case a long time. It was one of the first man named to beat the case. So you remember a long time video me do, when the trial just started, I'm telling you, say bed bugs, and Muta and bed bugs them, no all about the witnesses and they are going to target anybody that is close to the witness them. Well, people were thinking more like the immediate family and people who left the community a long time. So now it looks like they are running out of patience and now they are break it down to even the cousin level. Any kind of relation, they are target. So recently, a young man by the name of Fabian lose him life. He was actually sick. He had some kind of kidney problems and he eventually passed away. That youth is very loved in the community, so enough people from all over come out to show them support at a candlelight vigil. One of the closest friends them, one of Fabian closest friend them, is a youth named Shanda Paul. Just like the cricketer, they call him Shanda Paul. Him and C4 are family. Now, he used to live in the yard where C4 did live in. Obviously, everybody gone left the yard. But, he used to live in the same yard. I don't know if bedbugs assume say because him close to Fabian is going to turn up to the candlelight or somebody at the candlelight tip off bedbugs because you never know. You know, one text message and one call. Whatever the case may be, bedbugs turn up and they were hiding in C4 yard. Yes, the yard with C4 left behind because they know how the program got ready. When people go up on the program, they must have just left everything and gone. So that yard where C4 left behind, bed bugs man them hide in the yard. Shanda Paul now turning up for the candlelight vigil. I walk past the yard because he used to live over there too. So you know it got ready, I got tempted for him circle past his soul go on. When him walk past the yard, somebody in the yard call him. And by the way, the candlelight vigil was close by the yard. So somebody call him by name, tell him say he must come here. He said, no, I got to the man in the dark. By the time he said that, I walk off, be a gunshot start for you. People start running up and down. 
when I stand up all other bridges get shot. But by the time people look, the man them stand up over stand up all and I fool him up a gun shot. Nothing them could have about it. Afterwards, they run go back across the river and go about their business. The youth get a portion of shot. It was a mixture of handgun and rifle. People run up and down all over the place, jump fence, all kind of things. As you can imagine, it was complete chaos. I remember saying a bad man place, street light in the two common, and even the yard with seafood living her, they don't send up a light in now one, so the man then could have hide in the yard easy and then ambush the youth and kill him. Just like that, mash him up. Him friend also pick up a round. I don't know if he's going to survive, but me say mash him go hospital. As a matter of fact, them rush the friend go hospital before them see send up all on the ground because once the gunshot them start fire, people start split up in the different groups. And one of the group them realize say, Shanda Paul friend get shot and just immediately threw him in one car. And when time people start link back now, the next group now start to say Shanda Paul up on the ground dead. Kara pass and shine light on him and them scene. Complete madness. Now some of the youth them who carry the shooting, then they already come earlier for the candlelight vigil because it's like they want to circle the place to see who is there. People see them and walk through, but remember, it's not like say, it's unusual to find people from certain communities I walk through, especially when somebody like Fabian who is popular dead. So it's not like people are going to say, oh look, C187, make the world a runway. run away. Remember, we are still at a bad man place. So enough man walk through the place I know in 87s, but nothing really go on for a while. So I guess some amount of complacency set in, but them know who them come from. Them come for Shandapal. Them kill him. Anybody with them catch related to him or the banker are going to be in a serious trouble. Now that they are free, they have greater numbers and the money go right back which part them left off. Q, just bust the case. Russian, just bust the case. Back to them always. And not only that, but they are more powerful now because under black man clansman system, they were just regular 87s. But under Hezi system, they are now senior 87s. They have more talk right? because they got jail is them and then people say no, they have a greater rapport and they have a greater strength. So now that they're under the bed box system, they have a higher rank than the little new 87 them who come in after them. Of course, I'm showing enough of them youth already. The youth on the right where you see us, that's Richie. He was there, right? shooting, Shandapal, people MC, people MC everything. Right? The next one we see on your screen, that's Q. Just come off of the case, he was there as well. This next youth, as you can see by your screen, this was Russian the day when time my walk out of the courthouse and time he bust the case. And I'm going to give you a quote from somebody who was on the scene. This was one of them kerosene talking or the day when time he bust the trial. Listen to this. She said, I feel good same I come home. Me never expect it today, but me have faith same I come. But me never tell myself so today. But me pray about it and me go church and send down prayers for them. I can't tell her the plan, the way I feel good. She was talking about the celebration of You hear what this kerosene say? In her big national papers? She pray about it and she go to church and send down prayers to them. Send down prayers to them get released. Well, that means back in a jailhouse. Hilton, which is Q, and Russian start killing her already. So she claims that she sent her prayer. May I wonder who she sent them prayer there too. But I guess everybody has their own beliefs. People that go to church and pray for 87 come on road to come kill more people. So, when I did that video telling you that bed bugs was targeting, was hunting and targeting the family members are to witness them. I was expecting for you to think that this had happened earlier on, but enough people there to take with themselves. You know, the aunties and the uncles and them people, the people them who you expect them to go for. Even Shanda Paul. Right, he must live in the same yard in C4, right, after C4 gone, but then him take off himself. Too. But, as I say, very close friend dead, can't like go on. People could have realized, well, a long time the trial had gone on, nothing happened. Maybe a little bit of complacency set in, and this is what happened. Very unfortunate circumstances. So I hope you realize, eh, the fear that forget convictions on these trials is not just a case of all oh, man get away. It's a case of man get away and I go back to killing. Imagine beating a case and then going to kill the cousin of the man who was testifying against you. That's exactly what happened. And the more man come back on the road, 
and the stronger bed bugs are getting because their faction is starting to grow and grow. And at the moment, Termite faction and Hazy faction are the two strongest breakaway from Clansman. And now for the man they want to get Lego, they might go link with either Termite or they might go link with Hazy. Motor, who did I road this whole time? He's no longer in Jamaica. Matter of fact, right now, as this video is out, he should be in Mexico. He left a couple days ago. So Muta set off to Mexico, not because he wants to learn Spanish, right, but because he doesn't have the route to get into America. If Muta drop out America, you know I got me already. Any money he make, I go straight back to buying guns to straighten up bed bugs. And if Hezzy come back a road and then get by them down, he man smoky, then we're looking at a whole different beast now. So this trial, even if black man and mama get convicted, Spanish Town could still see two more very dangerous factions rise up. Hezzy and Smokey faction, bedbugs and termite them. And remember, Tesha still have theme boys in my road. So open up your eyes, say, the two biggest factions right now are get straightened up by the same man them would be on trial. Because when Spanish Town did quiet down, it's because 60 of them take off of the road. But once Termite star get Lego, Q star get Lego, Damien star get Lego, Spanish Town I get worse and worse. The same man them go up on the road to carry out back the killing. Complete madness. When you're a part of the biggest gang trial in Jamaican history and you beat it, as a 87, them start thinking to themselves, there's nothing me can do. How some little small trial I go hold me? When time I just beat the big clansman child. Or some little witness down the road I go sing me. When C4 and the banker come and sing me. And unless something is done about it, I don't think they're going to stop. Because that's just not our 87 profile. Bedbugs has been around for far too long. Look how long Muta and which them have killed people. And then can't get a single conviction. Muta has not even been charged. Them can't even get a charge for Muta. Because nobody now will testify. Nobody now go pint him out in an ID parade. And the youth them know this. And when time people see see four cousin get killed in front time yard, it's another message to the people them say. Unless they want to end up like this, keep them all shut. No one see how gangs control communities. Psychological warfare. People are asking themselves the question, well, if C4 and the bank go testify and the man them still have beat the case, where me I go? I'm going to talk about this more until the trial is finished, but I touch on it briefly now. I hope you realize the psychological effect right, this trial will have on crime in Spanish town especially. People are looking and saying if the banker and C4 cannot sink termite, Q, Russian, Damien and Emile, and the man they were in the gang. And them dead and see when everything I go down. How am I, a regular citizen, I go sink them? If this trial continues to make man get Lego and Lego, more people I go come to the conclusion and say testifying is a complete waste of time. Because look at what happened to the banker and C4. Them have left them community, them family have left them community. Everybody life right, in jeopardy. Everybody have a runway. People have left them work. And after all of that, the man them still about the case. So how many other people you think are going to testify? When time them say, well, me can stay as so, lock my mouth and just make the gang go and do the matter as long as they don't kill me. Or me can disrupt my life, disrupt my family life, make all of my uncle them and auntie them and brother them off the runway. And then the man them still get found not guilty anyway. The rest of the man them will up on trial. If them walk, I'm telling you right now. It is going to have a far-reaching effect on crime in Jamaica in terms of people going forward to testify. Because if everybody busts the case after all of this, then you're not going to convince many people to say it's worth it because of being a star witness. Anyway, I'll keep you updated as me or anything more about this. But it's not looking good. More men are walk free, more men are join the gang them, looking for the witness them, family members to kill. Anyway, Patreon squad, big up on the self. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, more life, Ultra Squad, see you circling, bless.